This is my junglearium. I have been slowly building it for the past year and a half and now it is finally almost ready for the plants. It was a huge amount of work since I built it from scratch and in the description you can find a playlist containing the previous three videos covering the entire work. In today's video you will witness what sort of transformation a little bit of substrate does. Actually, I'm lying, a whole ton of substrate. The enclosure will finally look like a proper enclosure. Not only that, I will also add the first animal scene, but more on that later. For substrate, I decided on using a mix of sphagnum moss, leaf litter, orchid bark and peat moss, which I actually forgot to add in this first batch. Immediately upon pouring the substrate in, I realized my mistake, but I decided to leave it as it is. I dropped some leaf litter on top and also added a bit of moss to see how it will hold up on certain spots. But I ran out of orchid bark. Ok, finally after a month of delay the freaking orchid bark is here, look at it. Everything was waiting for this. Yeah, there. it is incredible that you cannot get this in anywhere in Croatia, you know. So I had to order... <sighs> yeah. So I had to order it from outside of Croatia, but the store that is uh, that is selling these don't ship to Croatia, which means that, oh, they're all open. Which means that I had to order it to my friends that live in Slovenia, and then they brought me this box. So yeah, now we can mix it up with some Leaf litter, I have already inside, I have sphagnum moss, but I have a ton of sphagnum moss here and it is now almost fully dry. Uh, and we will also add peat moss. So yeah, let me mix this up and add it to the enclosure. And also I forgot to add peat into this area. Maybe I will intentionally leave this without peat. So there is different areas of um, substrate thing for isopods, you know isopods will maybe will maybe prefer to have something like that in case you're not familiar there is a video where i showed all the isopods that i got for this enclosure so i will maybe link it in the description if i don't forget so you can go and check it out did i add any any orchid bark inside no okay so i don't really know how much i will just eyeball it and see if i like the consistency or not pit moss and also we need a lot of humidity in that because over the past month or so everything dried up yes that is what we need look how dry this is that is not good now i definitely prefer this mixture with with pit moss than the previous mixture i did without the pit moss it definitely looks more substrate like this can now go inside already looking much better i must say let's make new batch but you see how dry the sphagnum is actually we can speed this up a bit ready for the leaf litter bark and pit moss Oh, such a nice mixture. Look at this. Ah, oh, beautiful. This will go here. And finally, we are covering all of that installation inside. Yes, it will look like an enclosure now. See, we can cover all of this. No, oh, I was waiting for this for such a long time. Okay, it looks like not even one full batch and we are done. I just want to cover this area and this area a bit. Maybe I won't intentionally leave this to be low like it is now. Yeah, just half a batch. Mm, this is it. You can see how there is a bit more pit moss by how dark it is. Sweet! So, I want... A bit here. You cannot really see it on the camera, but I have a hole here that I need to cover. And also this hole, maybe. I want to add more here. Now to scatter a bit of leaf litter around on the surface, you know. We need that to make it look prettier and more natural. And also I have these big and pretty leaves. Ho, 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 guys. 
What do you say? It is looking nice and the last thing that this substrate needs, which is of course sand for the texture, but I need to do a quick time jump and now we can do the most important step. It is the thing that you were waiting the most and that is of course sand for the texture. I have the Icelandic fine sand, I have sand from Barry Island, South Wales, I have sand from Qatar and I have sand from Lake Balaton in Hungary. Yeah, let's add all of these sands for the texture in the enclosure. I mean in the jungle area. <laughs> First one will be from Lake Balaton in Hungary. I need to get a bit of outside. That one will go here right under the log. Oh, and that's it. It is really fine sand. I'm gonna take more. <laughs> Let's get this one from Berry Island. We can go a bit more wild with this. Just like that. Wow. And from Qatar. This side should be more drier, so you know, Qatar is a desert, so yeah, it's logical to go there. And last one, the big boy from Iceland. The black sand, you see? I received all of these sands from subscribers, so if you want sand from your area inside of the jungle area, you just need to send it. Oh, more! Great, now with this texture added, we can add the isopods and I have them prepared right here and now I realize that I forgot to use the microphone. Yeah, so just a second. Now it should be better, sorry for the previous quality. Uh, which one should we add first? I think it doesn't really matter, I'll just take all. Oh yeah, and also we need isopods. Not isopods, these are isopods. We need springtails, so let me grab those. I have a bucket right here containing a lot of isopods. Ah, containing a lot of springtails. We are gonna start with them. You see these small little buggers? Together with isopods, they are the cleanup crew. They will be the cleanup crew of the junglearium. So in order to add them, I just take the charcoal with a bunch of them and just drop them inside. Pam 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 pam. You see, all gone. Pam 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 pam. Dun, dun, dun. I guess we don't need a ton of them inside because they are going to reproduce anyway. This should be like the perfect environment for them. Now let's start first with these. The Kubari species Panda King. They will go in the middle of the enclosure, I guess. Actually, I forgot something. First, I want to put some cork barks inside and also some rocks in order to provide additional hiding spots for the isopods. Yeah, that is really important, you know. So I will just do something like this. That should provide additional cover, you know. And a bit of rock here. Mm -hmm. Then another bigger cork bark to go here. Mm -hmm. This rock, I'll just squeeze it here inside. And a couple of these smaller cork barks. I will just scatter them around. These aren't super important, but they provide initial details in the enclosure. Okay, now it is ready for the isopods. So let me grab them again. And I will first check them out. More leaf litter for the enclosure. This one is hiding in the leaf. I will release all of them here in this area. I'm gonna try to separate the species. I'm not sure how active they are and if they will just stay at this area for now until they start to multiply more. Honestly, I'm not sure how that will go. Another one here. You see also squeezed in between the leaf. Here I can spot three. This one is smaller. Well, these are bigger. But I think that there should be more. Oh, here is another one. Okay, I will just dump this now at the same spot and let them do their thing. It will really be interesting to see which one I will be able to find later on in like two weeks or so because there is a lot of hiding spots in this enclosure and I'm sure that until some population starts booming I won't be even noticing them inside. Now these they require a bit less moisture so I'm gonna dump them in this corner because in theory this should be the driest part of junglearium although that is a relative term. And these are the ones that live in the substrate so I don't even know if we will be able to see them. I will just drop everything here. 
or maybe spread it around i don't know and let me see if i can find some oh yeah i can immediately you see this ball right there this is the isopod <laughs> and also this smaller ball this is also the isopod you see oh no i lost it now jk jk here are two balls you see so that means that they are all over the substrate which is great and what i'm gonna do do something like this so they will now stay under the substrate and do their business now the most expensive one the rubber ducky you see i will put them right here so let's check it out you see they are also in between the leaves oh look and there are a ton of ton of baby rubber duckies oh awesome okay i will take this leaf just like that and we will drop it right there <laughs> oh this is so good they are reproducing already here are some you see and you can see the third one there <laughs> same thing i'm gonna drop them around the same spot so they are all together oh look 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 more babies this is nice and is this one molting kind of looks like that huh okay go go and do your business imagine how big the world is now for them they have the endless possibilities and they can go wherever they want to go i really hope that these will survive since they are so so special two more to go i also have a bunch of these and they are actually there is a lot inside and even though it seems that they are a bit more pricey you see their appearance is not that <laughs> look at this this isopod is carrying his body <laughs> the isopod taxi so we... oh, oh, oh wait 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 look at this explorer <laughs> checking the junglearium out sweet after i'm done with all the work for today i will just sit here and observe and try to find isopods that should be like super relaxing right then especially when all other animals come inside oh then it will be amazing i will be able to spend hours just looking at this enclosure there we go enjoy buddies last one and these are the dwarf isopods these are the smallest ones which means that i will just scatter them through here there is a lot of them you see a whole lot of them so i won't be picking a certain certain area to have them they are kind of like a bit bigger springtails so i need entire enclosure full of them there we go okay now i'm gonna admire enclosure for a bit so the next day i searched for isopods and i managed to spot all species except the dwarf ones it was really cool observing them wander around exploring the jungle arium and this is the first time that i noticed that these uh, got like a white skirt at the back you see how it is wider so funny right also i managed to spot the baby duckies they were still hiding in the same leaf and there was another slightly bigger baby hanging with an adult i observed all species moved away from the spot i left them so my theory on them staying at the same spot was completely wrong they were climbing on the tree and background also these look so weirdly up close like some sort of alien creature burrowing and walking around strangely uh, they appear almost as if they were designed only to burrow and not capable of walking normally so everything seemed great but few days later i noticed the horror it turns out jungleerium was already inhabited with some other animals that proved to be extremely dangerous and deadly for these isopods but more on that in the next video so i hope you enjoyed this one if you did thumbs it up and comment something if you are new to this channel make sure to subscribe I upload every monday and sometimes i live stream on sunday so see you again soon bye <laughs>